hello everyone welcome back real ones welcome back to the channel do not a real one already my name is daji imara and on this channel i recreate makeup and hairstyles done on celebrities by some of the best makeup artists and hairstylists as well as some bomb makeup transformations so if that's not like your type of content boo go ahead and hit that subscribe button i know you're looking at it just go ahead and tap that thing real quick so as you can see the hairstylist that I'll be recreating their arts is Kim Kimball, who is a super iconic hairstylist in the black hair industry, beauty industry, and this bob that she did on Kerry Washington. If you don't know who Kerry Washington is, boo, you tripping. She's a, such an iconic actress. She's done one of my favorite roles that she's done is Scandal, and as well as her role that she played in the Red Charles movie. Kerry Washington is bomb, and she just had a really recent bomb series called Little Fires Everywhere on Hulu. I, you should definitely check that out. But Kim Kimball, baby, she didn't did Beyonce, she didn't did Tamar, she didn't did goddamn Kelly Rowland. She's everybody you can freaking think of. Any black woman that you can think of in the beauty and the music industry, she probably did their hair. Like, Kim Kimball don't play. She can do it all. She was definitely, and she was one of the head hairdressers in the movie Wrinkle of Time, which is a beautiful movie if you haven't seen that. But Kim Kimball's bomb, I gotta, you know, had to add her to the list of our iconic hairstylists that I've looked who I wanted to recreate. So let's get into this blunt cut bob that I'm about to recreate that she had did on Carrie Hilson. Okay, let's go. All right, I have four bundles of 16 inch and a 13 by four frontal. This is all the bundles here. Now we're just gonna move swiftly through the process of making the wig because I already did this multiple times. I'm bleaching the knots. Right now preparing the bleach and developer. And get nice and thick. I lot I forgot, um, I ran out of knives, so that's why I'm using a fork. So use a fork when you're doing this portion. But make sure I lathered up the entire lace front first with bleach, and that was the first step I took before I made the wig. And then, you know, I followed up by washing all of the bundles. So I did this already. If you guys want to know how to install, make a wig, all that good stuff, check out my videos prior to this because I'll go into deep detail. This don't need no detail. It's not that serious. So I made the wig and, you know, blow drying it, making sure it's nice and flat and then going to lead into flat ironing it to make sure, you know, it's nice and ready to be cut. Like I said, you want to know the detail how I made a wig? Check out one of my previous videos. Super informative. Now guys, this portion, I'm not even going to lie to y'all, is going to be better. I can show you better than I can tell you. So what I'm doing is basically lining this up, you know, parting it out, starting from the middle to get the length that I want to for the bob. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys. These like first three rows, the cuts were trash. Okay, boo. Oh my gosh, this was so trash. But it got better as I gradually cut it because I got an eye a better, you know, better a little bit more experience as I was cutting. But I did about two rows and then cut. So now I'm starting from the middle and cutting out, you know, parting it and trying to figure out where I'm gonna cut. And then we're gonna get started with the shears and cutting straight across for about three rows. As y'all can see, it's looking, it's looking bad, boo, it's looking bad. So I do from the middle and then I cut to the right and then I cut the left side and then I repeat that for about three rows. That's how I'm doing that portion. And then if I'm doing any cleaning up, what I'm doing is point cutting. So I'm cutting, cutting upward to trying to get it so I'm not just chopping it and making it shorter and shorter and shorter. So I'm cutting those loose, longer hairs, point cutting upward. That's the way to do it if you want to, you know, get those straggly hairs out the way. Don't just keep chopping it horizontally. You're going to make this a choppy wig and it's not going to be cute. Like I said, these first three rows were terrible. Next, once I got to about the third row, I started using a razor to kind of make it have a gradual cut instead of it just being too blunt at the top because I don't want it to be choppy like that. That wouldn't have looked too cute. 
So I'm doing that with the razor and then I'm point cutting to get it nice and even with the rest of the bob. This I started getting more comfortable so I should have started with a razor on the low key. So that's how we doing that. And I just, I just repeated this step all the way up through the wig. Section in the middle, cut it up, do it on both sides and then got it even and then repeated it all the way to the top. All right, so I'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of it and then I'll come back because like I said, I can show you better than I can tell you how I did this. Just follow my lead and you'll be good. <laughs> Once I'm getting to the end, as you can see, it's very uneven. It's kind of turned out to be like an asymmetrical bob, which was what really I was going for, but it kind of came out a little bit cute. So I'm just flat ironing over the top again with my HSI flat iron, which is really bomb. So I got from Amazon. It's only $40. I highly recommend this flat iron. So good. And I'm kind of like chopping it up. That's basically how I'm doing that. Okay guys, so here's the final results with the wig installed. If you wanna see how I install wigs, I'll leave the video on that in the description box. But guys, for somebody who has zero 
like training whatsoever, zero cosmetology license, all that. I think I did good with this cut. It's definitely not as blunt as Kim Kimball's is on Kerry Washington because she's licensed and has been doing this for multiple decades. She's bomb. Um, I think I did good for somebody who don't know how to cut hair and don't got no damn license. And I think, you know, it's, it looks bomb to me, you know? My little blunt, my little cute little uneven uh, blunt cut, boo. So if you definitely try this, make sure you will actually watch tutorials as well as from other cosmetologists who actually have a license, because that's what I did. Um, but I think I did a good job for somebody who don't got no license, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. If you guys enjoyed the video, guess what? You can watch more of them in this playlist right here, okay? Love that. So with that being said, make sure you follow Kim Kimball. Make sure, like, if you're a black woman and you're into hair, I don't know why you're not following Kim Kimball anyway, because she's like iconic, like iconic. And you know, thank you guys for getting this far into the video. Follow me on all my social media where I keep updates on all my upcoming videos and I post more makeup and hair tutorials on those platforms as well. And in the meantime, in between time, guess what you could do? You can watch these videos in the playlist because I know you want to and you want to see the other way transformations I done did from celebrity hairstylist. So go ahead and do that, okay? Bye.